Okay, here's the uh, seven pieces for the Max Gain MK8 HD 50 foot heavy duty push up mast. Now, each of these tubes they range from two and a half all the way to one inch and uh, they have an eighth inch wall thickness. And the measurements are outside diameter, so it's two and a half, two and a quarter, two inch, inch and three quarter, inch and a half, inch and a quarter, one inch. Okay, so that's pretty meaty, and you'll see the deflection on it is, if I placed it up against anything, it's not really going to deflect. So I'm probably going to use probably the first four or five, and the other two I'll prep, but I'm not going to put out, I'm not going to go up that high. So those are the pieces. Uh, now this uh, all together weighs, I believe, uh, 25 pounds. And fully collapsed once the collars install, it would be nine foot six inches long. Okay, some of the systems you can buy that have a, a shorter six foot length, you can get uh, already pre sleeved and done. This one, uh, because of the length, I had to pay a little bit extra shipping to get the tubing here, and uh, I'll have to put these on myself, which is very easy. But I wanted to show the lever locking system the screw going through here is reverse thread so what happens is you adjust the tightness on here and as you push down on the lever it closes around the, the tube that's sleeved in it so I don't know if you can see it on that one so I'll try it on a smaller one here so there's our notch as we tighten it now these get glue it onto the end of the pipes. And they give you a couple different options. Right here. Goop, silicone sealer, liquid nails, 50-50 epoxy. Uh, this is the one I'm going to use because I've used it in the past. 3M Reed Adhesive. This is this right here. This is great stuff. I worked in the marine trade. This is all we used. If we put anything onto a boat, that was out in the weather. This is what we use. So this is what I'm going to use here. It's very easy to clean up to excess. So I just clean up with mineral spirits. So that's that part. I wanted to cover that. And like I said, some of the systems you can buy are already already done and pre-sleeved, so they're ready to go. Now here is the guy ring set. You can buy just one uh, of any size you want. And then they have several different sets listed. I just bought the big set. That way I have them. Uh, I know my guy points, but I figured it was cheap enough just to buy the whole set. If you notice, they have holes for three-point guying or four-point guying. So they're pretty nice, and they're nicely machined. The ends have a nice countersink on, counter on them. And uh, it's the way to go. Now, if you go up any height up in the air, you're going to want to guy your antenna. And the best is 100%, which would be the height of the guy would be the uh, length away from the base of the mast, which would be a 100%. Now, you can move in a little bit, but as you move in, you're going to increase what they call the wind factor load. And the guys will actually start putting a load on the mast because they're too close to the base. Now I've calculated here for 80%, but I wanted to show you the wind factor load here. Okay, and that's from blueskymass.com. I got that info. So I went with 80%, and I use mechanical drawing ruler here. So it says 60 there, and that's what I based. So I can actually draw in feet and stuff. So I have all my, everything I need to know up front here. It's all planned out. I know if I use a ch cheater post for a guy point or a house or a top of something, I know exactly how far I have to be. And uh, this is good to have in your phone. To, you know, if, if you take it somewhere and you set it up, and you have got a vehicle here and a house there, or a tree there, or whatever, you can take a look and see your your points now. If you look here, 
I have it with different pole heights, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. And then it'll give me the distance from the mast that I can, we'll call it a cheater pole. And uh, you can see at 80%, we're 20 foot away from a 26 foot guide point. If we use a cheater pole as we go up, say an 8 foot pole, 14, 4. Now this is very easy to calculate. Just take the 100%, okay, and do, and then times it uh, by point, whatever the percent is, 0.80 for 80%. So I just wanted to show that, you know. All sorts of information here. Now I know what you're thinking, and I left out a key part. You're thinking, well, there's feet and inches here, and I need to be multiplying and adding and everything else, and that's not very easy. Well, when you have a little project calc that does feet and inches, then it becomes very easy. So I'm going to give you a little demonstration here. We'll clear it. You hit 7, feet, then locks in the feet. We'll say 5 inch, that locks it in, and then you can put whatever the fraction is. Okay. And then we'll multiply that by 0.8. And there you go. Now, this is this brand. I just bought this at the home improvement store. I have two of these. As you can see, this has plenty of use. I've had it for years. I use it when I did ornamental aluminum. And it's great for all, all sorts of projects around the house. They're nice to have. Especially if you want to figure out, you know, divide up... Uh, something in the even amount, say you have 9 feet and you want to divide it by uh, 52, it'll tell you. So, very handy to have around. So I've set up some jack stands and they work real nice because they've got a nice round area in it. Put your pipe right on there. That way you can spin it around and work on it. Get your needed stuff together. I got my mineral spirits and paper towels, sock, yeah it's clean, and a collar under 5200 which doesn't come with a little punchy thing so you're gonna have to punch the hole yourself in that. So either a little nail or something. And work quick with this. Stuff doesn't fool around. What they want you to do is apply it to the pipe so as you're pushing this on Okay, you're pushing the excess out the end here and not into here where you're going to be sliding another pipe. Okay, so rub, rub it all on here and slide it on and, and then clean off the excess. with my knee here. So as you see, excess is coming out the end there. And we'll just wipe that off of there. One down, six to go. Came up really easy. I'd even use any uh, cleaner, just paper towel. If you work with 5200 and you work pretty quick to clean up your excess, it'll come right off. And uh, it'll come right off your hands too, real quick. So. Just work fast. A little thick, goopy. Make sure no, none's going in the tube here. Be 
make sure you keep the end on here. Make sure you got everything cleaned off the sides here. So there you go. There's another section done. And I'm leaning them up against the wall with this up top and letting them set. Now when you're done with your ad adhesive, wipe the threads off. Clean the threads out here. And then the next time you need it, the cap will come off. Now in the 8 foot section uh, systems, they want you to mark the 12 inch mark. That's so when you're pulling it out, you don't go too far and you've got a foot overlap into the next uh, pipe going down. And on the 6 foot sections, I believe it's shorter. I think it's 8 inches. So make sure you read whatever system you, you get, how much overlap they want. So we'll just take our Sharpie and we'll mark that. Now I'm actually going to make a uh, piece of paper. I'm going to show you a trick. Now when you're doing fabrication work, they make little uh, wraps that you can put around pipes so you can draw a perfectly straight line around, like a cut line around it. So we're going to duplicate that here. I've made a, a sheet. This is kind of thick, glossy material, either that or thin cardboard. It's exactly 12 inches long. And when you take this, and you wrap it around the pipe, even with the end, you'll be able to come over here and draw a perfectly straight line right around. It'll be visible from all sides. So, that's a little trick. Okay, I've got all the tubing in here and I'm going to let it cure. It's a little hard to see against that hurricane shutter, but all the ends are marked. And they say 48 uh, hours for tack and 7 day for full, but I know through experience down here in a warmer climate, much shorter. So, I won't be putting it up for uh, a few days, so it'll sit out here and cook and it's about 90 degrees out here on this porch. So. Just make sure you let those cure up real good.